100% psilocybe semilentiata, liberty caps, magic mushrooms. This is what everyone's after. And that's probably if you were to dry that out quarter of a gram to half a gram. If you were to eat this fresh, you would definitely feel them. It's mushroom picking season in the UK. Every year, thousands of people go out into the fields all around the UK. They get their eyes busy and they're looking for Liberty Cap mushrooms, mostly. So we've come to the new forest today to meet up with Callum, who I've dubbed the mushroom man. Uh, but he's actually just an expert at like all things fungi and nature. What I think is interesting is that every year in the UK, 200,000 people take mushrooms, whether that's like they've picked them off the floor or they've gotten them off a dealer. The Global Drug Survey has called them the safest recreational drug, which is kind of surprising because they're class A, which is on the same vein as heroin, crack, uh, but we can just find them in the ground. So let's go and see if we can find some. If you want to just tell me a little bit about yourself and like maybe the first time you were introduced to mushrooms. Um, so really, it was probably, it was probably back in college. Um, when I was studying horticulture, my lecturer, we, we walked past, I think it was some puffballs or something, and he just explained explained what it was. And ever since then, I was, I was quite fascinated by them. Yeah, it just, it just grew from there. And I started learning more and more. And the more I learned, the more I realized I didn't actually know as much as I thought I did originally, which makes you want to go out and, and really start studying and, and teaching yourself everything. So you have a TikTok page that has 50,000 followers. You post harm reduction advice. Tell me a bit about how you started that. So I started the TikTok maybe two or three years ago. Um, I had a video that went viral, and I just thought, well, I know things and other people clearly want to know them as well. You know, I get a lot of questions and people are generally really interested when I start talking about mushrooms. A lot of people don't really don't have a clue um, and they're just trying to learn. So I'm trying to hit a balance between like using real science and evidence and information um, and making it sort of personable so people can understand what you're actually talking about. And tell me a little bit about the group that you've set up. It's grown to about 55, 65,000 people. Wow. It grew by 25% just in the last, just this season in the last month. I just oh. really wanted to try and have a hand in basically making sure the, the correct information was getting out there to people. Is that like mostly in the UK and what kind of age range yes, are they? Yes, it's mostly in the UK. I think the, the average age range is like between 25 and 35. Obviously you've got some old school heads from like back in the 60s and stuff that were that yeah. are into it. So we've got a few of the older crowd that like come in and, and share their stories and stuff about picking, you know, like back in the 70s and things, which I yeah. thought was really cool. Maybe you could just take me through like your process when you go out, like what you're looking for. You go through the key identification features. So, so psilocybe semilensiata, the Liberty Cap's got um, a gelatinous pellicle, which is basically like a jelly membrane layer that goes over the top of the cap. And that's like a key identification feature to separate it from other things like hypholoma ericaeum, which uh, you don't want to eat. It's not, it's not psychoactive. I don't think it's particularly toxic, but. Um, and that doesn't have the jelly layer. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that doesn't so that's have what we're looking out for. Yeah, 100%. Nice, okay. We see how many we can find. Cool. Yeah? I think we are, it's these gullies, I can't remember if it's that one. Oh, this is one of the, this is one of the lookalike species, Hypholoma ericaeum. So you know okay. what I was saying about the gelatinous pellicle yeah. that you're looking for. So this has got pretty much all of the other key identification features. It almost has like a false sort of papilla on the top there, which is what people commonly call the nipple. Um, but if you grab the cap and you pull it off to the side, you see it just disintegrates. There's nothing holding it together. Okay. It just falls apart. That's, that's lacking the key identification feature, the gelatinous pellicle. But if you look inside as well, the gills are even the right color. Okay. And then the stem is also very, very, not far off at all from what you're looking for, but it's, yeah. it's much more brittle. It just snaps apart. Okay. So, I had no idea. There are so many types that looked so similar. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch. Oh yeah, here we've got, that's, that's definitely. Oh, cool. But this, this guy is a, is a Liberty Cap, Psilocybe semilensiata. It has sheared in places, but it's holding together. It's really fibrous. You've got the nipple on the top of the cap there. Oh yeah. That's another key identification feature. So things like um, Protostrophoria, they don't have the nipple on the top. Pull the cap apart if you want, and you can have a look at the, uh, the gelatinous pellicle. Oh my God, yeah, it's so sticky. Yeah. Wow. Before people are going to try it for the first time, can you chat a bit about like dosage and then like what the effects are of that? So yeah, for, for new people, it's probably best to do it on a full stomach, you know, have a good lunch, have some dinner, wait a few hours for that to start digesting. The sort of beginner, the sort of first sort of dosage that you're really going to be looking at is 0.1 to 0.2 of a gram. You're not going to feel too much, you're just going to feel a little bit sort of lifted and energised and energetic. But then sort of the next stage up from that is about a gram where 
these ferns would actually be really, really, <laughs> really good to look at on mushrooms. The, the insane patterns and things, the way everything like melds into itself and sort of wraps around and things, that's, that's brilliant. And then like the two gram range, again, it's just that, but a bit more intense, you're gonna get, you're gonna get the giggles as well. A lot of euphoria, the, the body feeling is gonna be quite intense. Once you get into the sort of three gram level, it's just that, but, but even, even more so, it can be quite hard for a lot of people to, uh, that's the range where some people don't really like what's happening. Your thought trains end up being a little bit different as well. So you don't quite have all your faculties about you as you usually would. Above that, you know, you're talking like five to seven gram range, which is what people call the hero dose. And that's when you start to see um, geometric patterns coming out of nowhere. People end up getting into like thought loops and things where um, it's almost like you find faults in your own logic and stuff. So it can be quite mentally, um, powerful. Your tolerance builds up extremely quickly with, with psilocybin. Um, so if you were to take a gram one day and then the next day take another gram, it's probably going to not even be half as effective. I kind of feel like you would want to be in the right setting to experience a lot of this. Absolutely, yeah, what, especially, especially What's a nice for, place to do it? Somewhere like this is, is lovely if you're, com if you're confident and sort of comfortable in nature. You know, yeah. going out and having a walk in nature is, is absolutely amazing. But you know, for your first time, you're probably going to want to be at home with friends, maybe in your bedroom or in your lounge, somewhere that you know that you're really comfortable with and you've got people around you that you trust and love and, you know, know that they love you as well. Just because, um, yeah, when it when it when when you get to like the five gram sort of level, three grams plus anything like that, it gets quite intense. And so yeah. it's just really good to be in a safe environment. I thought that I saw some there, but it was actually just rabbit poo, so. <laughs> yeah, rabbit, rabbit poo will get you.